What made me want to come to this program was the opportunity to train as a military officer and a clinical psychologist, learn advanced research in psychology and taking care of our service members. All of those things at the same time while being able to keep my uniform still on. In the early 1990s, Congress mandated that USIS develop a military clinical psychology PhD program. I was brought in in uh, 1994 to develop the clinical PhD program. Compared to other programs, our students are uh, a unique group of individuals who are really committed to careers in the military. These students know the behavioral health problems that the military encounter. They know the military culture, and they also know the kinds of things that they're going to need to know, both when they're deployed and when they serve in the United States as behavioral health providers. Our department has uh, several faculty members that are working really at the cutting edge of the behavioral health problems that the military is encountering now. Dr. Marjan Holloway is doing work to develop treatments to prevent suicide. Dr. Mark Ettenhofer and Dr. Neil Grunberg are working in the area of mild traumatic brain injury to understand their cognitive uh, effects and effects on function and also the mechanisms involved. As part of the Ettenhofer Neurocognitive Research Laboratory, I have the privilege of working with Dr. Ettenhofer and building an eye tracking assessment tool. So the way that the eye tracking system works is the patient sits in front of the computer and completes a cognitive test where they're looking at different shapes and trying to move their eyes as quickly as they can to the targets that appear. While the eye tracking camera is monitoring their eye movements at high speed. And the examiner will be making sure that the equipment's recording this correctly, so our software will later extract out information from those eye movements to determine whether there may or may not be some sort of, of residual neural injuries that they may have sustained due to traumatic brain injury. So for our virtual reality driving project, we've partnered with collaborators at the University of Virginia and in the video game industry to develop a system that can assess a warfighter's sensory, motor, and cognitive abilities. Currently, there are two specific treatments that we're focusing on in the prevention of military suicide. The first treatment is called safety planning, and the treatment is provided during the inpatient stay for service members who had thoughts about suicide or service members who had recently attempted suicide. The second type of intervention for the prevention of suicide that we're currently examining is called cognitive behavior therapy for military service members who've been thinking about suicide or who have recently attempted suicide. In addition to the core classes that are required for accreditation of clinical psychology programs, our program has several unique courses. Uh, we have two courses in military psychology, a course in policy issues that are relevant to the military. This is an elective that students can take. A simulation center training which exposes them to patients with uh, unique problems like uh, PTSD or traumatic brain injury. And of course, our internships and practica occur in military settings. I think the Department of Medical and Clinical Psychology here at USU plays a really important role in meeting the needs of our warfighters coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan because our students are trained to look at a person in terms of all kinds of physical, medical, and psychological factors that could be influencing them from traumatic brain injury to post-traumatic stress to the fact that they've been separated from friends and family during deployment. One of the major problems that our, uh, that our nation is encountering is the large number of uh, returning warriors from Iraq and Afghanistan who have very severe behavioral health problems. Our program provides the kinds of behavioral health providers who are able and well-trained to deal with these problems and to meet this important and critical national need. You have in this university a system that trains psychologists but also trains military officers and leaders and you can't get that anywhere else. One of the most special things about this department and this university is the students and having the opportunity to work with students in uniform who so many of them have a clear dedication to the mission of helping others like themselves and it's really an honor and a privilege to be able to work with them.